it's Linda here and I'm back with project number eight in my countdown to Christmas. Okay, and it's this cute little treat box. Um, inside here is a little Malteser reindeer. I love them, I love Maltesers and this one will be eaten, <laughs> I can promise you. Um, anyway, I decided I'd make these cute little um, treat boxes. I think they're really nice, probably a really nice little um, craft fair make you know I, I think that they'd go down quite well they're quite a good size obviously you don't have to put the Maltesers in you can use them for other treats or other types of presents okay but anyway here is mine so these are what I mean really really nice and tasty for Christmas but I just thought that this box was a really nice way in which to present them okay so I'm going to pop it to one side now and I'm going to show you how you can put one together so thanks ever so much for coming along and joining me today. Now I've already gone ahead and done my scoring for this one because I'm finding it really difficult to see on this patterned paper case but I will talk you through the score lines for it. So this paper or this piece of paper is six by six inches okay and it's from under the mistletoe um, 12 by 12 designer series papers which come in these lovely traditional colours okay so anyway I'll talk you through the score lines for these so on side one I have scored at one inch and at two and three quarters at three and three quarters and at five and a half Okay, and then when you turn it round on side two, you just want to score at one inch and at five. Okay, so all very nice and easy. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead now and burnish all of my score lines. If I can see them, I don't know, it's terrible this. What I should have said is it is an envelope punch board project as well. So you're going to need that. Okay, so I've done all my scoring, also all of my burnishing. So I'm now ready to bring in the envelope punch board. Okay, so what, what, what you're looking for now is, it doesn't really matter which end you use actually, whether it's this end or that end, but um, you're going to be using your score that you made at an inch okay as your guide here and you're just going to place it in here at the one inch point on your board I'll just zoom in a little and you are marrying up that nozzle there with your score line okay so you're aiming for the center so we're starting at this end and then we're folding and going back in at one inch one inch all the way along And then on that score line there, you're just going to fold your paper back that way, okay? So it's like that. And then now you just want to do a bit of trimming. So I'm just going to turn it round like this. I'm looking for my snips. What have I done with those? So you've got this narrow margin here, okay? So all you're going to do is cut down to that score line. I'm cutting a little wedge out of mine and you're just snipping this away and then you're going to cut down each of these score lines in fact I can see better if I turn over so I'm just going to snip down like that okay and then it's just a question of putting some double sided tape along here And you fold that across and that should marry up like that. Okay. And so now what we're ready to do is just stick the, the bottom down. Okay, so I'm looking for that seam there. So that's where I used my double-sided tape. That's going to be the back of my box. So I'm just popping those in like that, bringing this across. And what I will do just put some double sided tape on this piece get 
that nice and square and pop it down like that and then I'm just going to stick a piece over here so the beauty of this project is it's really lovely and quick well the making of the boxes the decorating is probably not quite so quick and you can see look I've forgotten to put a little bit of tape there so I'll just quickly do that And just stick that down and it's ready to take my little treat so there he goes my little reindeer okay and what you find now is if you press these in keeping them quite nice and square so that they all match up like that and then if you push this down you get like this nice little rounded shape around the top here okay and I am just going to be using this cording trim Okay, so I'll just snip that off. I'm just ready to decorate it now. Okay, so to decorate it, I've got here some crumb cake cardstock. I'm using my cookie cutter Christmas stamp set from last year, and I'm using this little fella here, the reindeer. Okay, ties in with the little reindeer that's in here. That's my way of thinking. Okay, and I've got some black memento ink. So I'll just load that up with colour and stamp it round about there because I'm going to be punching him out. So there we go. And I'm going to do just a tiny bit of colouring. So I've got a couple of blends here. I do like colouring with these, but I'm not going to be doing any blending as such today. I am just colouring in. So I have got here the dark smoky slate, and I'm just going to colour in the antlers. And this is the um, Dark Crumb Cake Blend marker pen. They just go on really nicely. And they don't leave any, what I call, like lines in your colouring. Everything kind of just looks nice and smooth. And I thought that it would be rather fun to give him a nice um, sparkly red nose. So I've got here my half inch circle punch. So just put a little bit of glue on the back there. And just cover up his black nose with that. And I'll let that go off. Okay, so that can set for a minute. I just wanted to make like a topper. So what I used here was, I think this is the largest oval from my Stitched Shapes dies. Okay, so I used that one. And then I cut a corresponding um, oval from my Layering Ovals dies. I can't really remember what size it is, but when you actually get your dies out, it's you can find out pretty quickly. Okay, but if you can see, those actually do fit very nicely together. So I'm just going to layer those up with some glue. And I'm just going to punch out my little fella. Actually, I'm a twit. I'm an umpty. I should have. Um, <laughs> the punch actually um, punches this way. So really, what I should have done was um, done him upside down and nearer the bottom here. But then I mean, you learn all these from all these mistakes as you go along. So all I'm going to do is just get rid of some of that. Okay. And then you'll find that this lovely cookie cutter punch is perfect for going creating an outline around his face or his head. 
Okay, so I'm just going to take him now and layer him up or on there. I'm just going to use a few dimensionals. You're not going to believe what just happened. <laughs> I had to go and rescue a pigeon from my conservatory. So I'm out of breath now. <laughs> anyway, gave the dogs a bit of excitement. So there we go, that's my topper done. I feel all shaky now. Anyway, that's my um that's my good deed done for the day anyway. Okay, so I put some dimensionals on the back there and I'm just popping that into the centre there of my little treat oh my little treat holder. Okay, so um, I hope you like it. I think it's really rather cute, actually. And like I said, I think that these would make really nice little um, sellers at craft fairs, really. Okay, so that is project number eight, finished and done for my countdown to Christmas. And I do hope you like it. Um, I will be back with another project for you, project number nine. And I do hope to have a little something extra out in the meantime. So stay tuned. And if you haven't already done so, I'd love you to subscribe to my channel. So that's it from me and bye for now.